Okay. Okay, so we are doing um, taking the fail out of the scale, celebrating your victories, both large and small. Um, this program came comes from the TOPS website um, that any member can download. Um, so let's see what we say. Okay, so we can all get frustrated during our weight loss journeys when the scale doesn't reflect the results we want to see in ourselves. The scale number can sometimes be the deciding factor in feeling like either a champion, champion or a failure, but it doesn't have to be that way. Think of a time when you were frustrated with your scale results. How did you treat yourself afterwards? When you think you would have come in with a loss, but it showed a little bit of gain, how did, you, how did it make you feel and how did, how did you treat yourself afterwards anybody yeah i felt really frustrated and uh afterwards i said well what the heck the scale didn't change anyway so i might as well have this ice cream so i treated myself because i was angry and that that does happen a lot of times if you you know you worked hard all week and and then the scales don't go either don't go down as far as far as you think they should or they go up then it it can get frustrating um so although you may be disappointed with your weight results from time to time your confidence doesn't have to be defined by the scales there are plenty of non-scale victories that you can celebrate instead no matter how small that they they may appear Non-scale victories are less noticeable changes like finding that a favorite pair of jeans fits a little bit looser or, they, or that trying on a slightly smaller swimsuit goes effortless, effortlessly. By paying attention to the smaller changes, you'll, be, you'll begin to appreciate how diet and exercise have paid off in the ways that you haven't noticed before, even though the scale may not demonstrate significant weight loss. So weight does not go down in a straight line. It sometimes plateaus for weeks and then suddenly drops all at once or even goes up before it goes down. Um, so you may be losing weight in the long term, but day by day fluctuations can be frustrating. So remember that change isn't always boiled down to the number on the scales. So do y'all have any non-scale victories today? or maybe over the weekend that you want to share? I do. I didn't have a game. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> I ate a salad instead of eating a Chick-fil-A meal with French fries. <laughs> That's, That's a big one. one. That is That's a big one. Really a it could be, yeah. Victory. I, yeah. I know one program we did was like, or somebody said, or I read somewhere, don't don't focus on you know what you did losing, but say I didn't do so and so, you know, like I mm -hmm. said just then. Yep. Reword it. <laughs> yeah, Fo you can focus on the positive things that right. you did, yeah. and and a lot of time those are non-scale victories, especially if you're really struggling, um, you know, to make the choice the right choices. Um, so those can be non-scale victories. It doesn't have to be, you know, a non-scale victory doesn't have to be big. Um, just something small, like, you know, choose, making the right choice at one meal. I got a whole good night's sleep last night. Hey, that's it's good. <laughs> that's always a good thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. So having others notice your weight loss is also a non-scale victory. When friends and family say something supportive and or compliment you on your progress, take a moment to celebrate. These non-scale victories are glimmers of advancement that can keep you going. So, such small observations can be a huge motivators in continuing your weight loss journey. So let's discuss some of the non-scale victories we've noticed in each other. So this says divide into groups, but since there's only four of us. <laughs> um, so ha have you, has anybody mentioned anything to you that just kind of made you feel good, even though you 
you know, you don't think you're doing too good, but somebody has noticed. Hmm. Well, not in me, but in that lady that's lost 16 pounds, you know, I hmm. told her today, I said, I can tell you've lost some weight, you know, of course with me, I have to lose about 50 before anybody notices. <laughs> Hey, I'm right there with you. I feel like it anyway. <laughs> yep. I had somebody this weekend um, tell me that every time she sees me, I look younger. Mm. I, I think her eyes are just getting older. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I went to my hairdresser yesterday. I hadn't seen her in a month. She said, oh, you look nice today. Have you been somewhere? <laughs> I said, no, I said, I'm going to my friends after this and go out to dinner. She said, well, you look nice today, but I, I guess taking a little more time to put on my makeup. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, I did get a, what's the name? Somebody did tell me today, oh, I like your hair. I like the style you have. I said, oh, okay. And, and sometimes that just kind of makes you feel good inside. You know? It did. Like, it it, does. Did. it yeah. really does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, so how did it feel when others applauded your accomplishments outside of the weigh-in results? Remember, non-scale victories are important, such as lowering your blood pressure and blood sugar numbers, liking the person you see in the mirror, and a lot of times that is a big, that's a big to-do is mm -hmm. I look in the mirror and I'm like, let's just cover it back up. <laughs> um getting taken off of certain medications by your doctor is always a good thing. Uh, being able to sleep better, having an improved skin tone, uh, bending over and breathing while try tying your shoes. That's wow. a big thing. You know, <laughs> that's yeah. a big thing for me. Um, uh, you know, I, when I went to Tennessee, um, I had stopped by, and got me a, got a pair of pa a black pants so I, to wear for Saturday on the way up. I mean, when I was up there, and uh, I actually bought a smaller size, thinking I bought two. I bought the same pair of pants in two different sizes, mm -hmm. um, and it felt good to be able to put on the smaller size. Cool. So it did feel good. Yeah. Um, and, and I thought, okay, well, I'm losing, so, you know, it won't be too long before I'll get into the smaller size anyway. So that's the reason I bought them. Um, but, you know, it did feel good, you know, just being able to, to get there. Yeah. Um, so we all face emotional and physical difficulties from time to time, which is why is it important to take a step back and celebrate your non-scale victories. They can make your days brighter and your tomorrows easier. The next time you notice a non-scale victory, reward yourself by taking a bubble bath or calling a friend, go, go bowling or go treat yourself non-food related. You got to have a non-food reward because, you know, you start rewarding yourself with food and, you know, your weight's going to tend to go back up and, and you're going to get back into old habits. Um, so, you know, make sure you, it's a non-food reward. Um, so had, so the next time you have a non-scale victory, how would you celebrate? Well, I like to get a, maybe a new pair of shoes or a handbag or a new something to wear. I mean, that's how I like to celebrate. I, I, I tend to celebrate, you know, if once I reach my next five pounds, mm -hmm. you know, I, I look at five pounds at a time. Because yep. um, if I start looking at the overall picture, it just, I just cringe. But if I, you know, if I do the five pounds at a time, you know, I'll reward myself with something, something nice, not food, but, or, or go somewhere or something like that. So, um, okay. I like to try on something that's been tight and see that it fits better. Yeah. Not just go shopping in my closet. Yeah. I know if I go shopping, if, if I go shopping in my closet, I'll find a whole new wardrobe. 
Ooh. after about 10 pounds. <laughs> um, and it's nice to be able to put on pants that you've been wearing for a long time and, and they're just so loose that you can't keep them up. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Um, so, you know, let's share those non-scale victories with our friends and our chapters because um, you never know, it might inspire somebody, you know, to do, do the same thing, you know, like choosing a different a meal when you go out or um, something like that or not treat, treating themselves to a certain meal when they reach a certain amount of weight because a lot of people you know if I lose 10 pounds I'm gonna go you know whatever you know so yeah we can't do that all right is there anything else that y'all want to um, share about non-scale victories well I would say that uh, you know there's a lot of uh, non-scale victories when you think about maybe you did go out to dinner or you invited to somebody's house and you didn't have the dessert or you had a smaller piece than you would normally have, or you had one cookie instead of two or three. Those are those small uh, victories that they are talking about. So we need to right. pat ourselves on the back and reward ourselves for that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, We don't think about it, but it's true. Or like I said before, just losing an inch around the waist. You know, right. I know um, two, <laughs> three weeks ago, um, I had on some pants that I wear. I have a big tummy. And um, I know something has happened because, and they had the elastic in the waist because I was walking to go in the Publix and my pants fell down around my ankles. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> I looked around, but the good thing is, is that I had on, you know, one of those long shirts that come down to uh -huh. the knee <laughs> with a belt. <laughs> That's the only thing that saved me. Because <laughs> mm. I walked out of my pants, you hear me? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and that, that, you know and the poor elastic on the pants probably said hallelujah <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so so yeah i mean thinking outside of the box and not not always relating the the victory your victories to the scale that, that that's going to help you in the long run and i always think of more of of Irene when I'm looking at my, mine's not a real Fitbit, it's a Garmin, but if I can keep, get my steps for the day, I felt like that's a real victory. That's yep. right. That's it right. is. It really is. That's right. Especially, especially when you're only used to getting a certain amount. Today, I've been sitting at my desk and I've got 1,400 steps. <laughs> and um, usually by this time, I got at least, you know, 3,500 or so, but... So I, I would not let you go. Hey, your non-scale victory is you, sur you survived the day and Monday. you're thriving. <laughs> yeah. I survived with How a smile. Steps? How many steps are you supposed to have a day? At is least there a 10, they say. They say at least 10,000. At least 10,000. Yeah. But then I've heard different things like uh, at least 4,000. People that are two thousand is a uh, 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 or under are um, that's more that's uh, more at risk. So at least four thousand, and then you know three, three. But yeah, I, I I know we always hear the ten thousand, but I have heard a couple of a couple of things. The church going to depend on. I, I aim, I do, I aim for 5,000 a day and that, ju that seems to counteract the calories that I eat. Yeah. 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 And I aim for 12 <clears throat> and that, that still brings me a little bit over five miles mm -hmm. a day. But, um, when we're traveling on the road, if I can get five, I'm happy with that too, because that's two and a half miles. Yeah. So, uh, I think we each got something that we're looking at is something that just motivate us because for me, yeah. The big thing is doing whatever it is, exercising for at least 30 minutes. Right. If not more. And you know, if you're not if you're not used to walking a lot, you know, set your goal low. That's right. And that way and you meet it and then you increase it a little bit every week. That's right. Um, you know, until you can get up that that much. 
that more than what you're doing is always a good thing. Yeah, anything, anything's better than nothing at all. That's right. I mean, I'm moving every day with a bunch of grandkids and everything, but not really doing <laughs> well, I imagine. Right, kind of, right kind of exercise, you know. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm on. I'm gonna stop the recording.